This video will cover setting up a Skidmore Wilhelm device for field testing of DTIs on NCDOT projects and as a supplement to the video, field testing of direct tension indicators on the proper testing procedures. NCDOT requires that DTIs be placed under the bolt head unless otherwise approved. For this reason, when performing the field verification test, the same configuration should be used. This figure shows the proper orientation of the bolt, DTI, and nut in the Skidmore device. A Skidmore device should come with interchangeable plates. The plate on the left has a flat surface which allows the DTI to be installed between the plate and bolt head, as seen in this picture, and also allow for easy access to check the gaps with a feeler gauge. Not all models of the Skidmore are the same. As you can see, these two models are different and will require different inserts for performing the test. The insert on the right can be aligned with the prongs on the Skidmore device and provide a flat base for the nut to be tightened against. For this model of Skidmore, the previous insert would not work. Instead, steel spacers would be required. If spacers are not provided with the Skidmore device, they can be fabricated at a local machine shop. The spacers can be made to various lengths to accommodate different bolt lengths and fit inside the device as shown. Steel spacers are preferred over stacking of multiple hardened washers, as the washers can introduce error into the test results. This insert is commonly included in Skidmore kits but should not be used on NCDOT projects. The purpose of the insert is to allow the bolt head to be placed inside the insert and does not allow the bolt head to spin while being tested. This eliminates the need for a second spud wrench to hold the bolt head. However, by using this type of insert, the DTI cannot be placed under the bolt head as required by NCDOT and therefore should not be used. A new form has been created for recording the results of the DTI field verification test and can be found on the construction resources link of the NCDOT SharePoint team site. Click the link below to watch the video covering the full procedures for performing the field verification test for DTIs on NCDOT projects.